Hey guys, it's Carrie. Lots of my favorite animals today. Jaguar. In North America, jaguars are fairly small, weighing around 57 kilograms, about the size of a cougar. In northeastern Mexico, jaguars coexist with cougars. Both are foremost active at night and prey on white-tailed deer, collared peccary and cattle calves. Jaguars tend to hunt larger species than the pumas, even when they are a similar size. This sympatric relationship is specific to northern Mexico. The powerful bite force is 1500 PSI. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Tiger. The Siberian tiger is genetically close to the extinct Caspian tiger. Historic Siberian tigers and Bengal tigers were the largest ones, whereas the contemporary Siberian tigers are on average lighter than the contemporary Bengal tigers. This is due to loss of habitat, hunting of the largest of the species, and size of prey and abundance of prey. With reproduction, copulation requires the tigress to assume a vulnerable position. The male moves over the tigress and mounts her in a knees bent position. To immobilize her, the male takes hold of the loose skin folds on the female's neck in his mouth. Over the next few days, they will mate anywhere from 200 to 250 times and it can sometimes be as frequent as every five to seven minutes. This frequency is facilitated by the baculum bone in the penis. The frequency is required to stimulate ovulation. Hippo, South African hippopotamus or Cape Hippopotamus is found from Zambia to South Africa. It has the most flattened skull of the subspecies. Weighing anywhere between 1,300 and 3,200 kilograms. In length, they can measure up to over 5 meters, including a tail length of about 35 centimeters. They stand up to 1.65 metres tall. On land, they are able to move at speeds up to 30 kilometres per hour and can maintain these speeds for several hundred metres. The rare pygmy hippopotamus, the other living species of the family Hippopotamidae. It is about the size of a domestic pig. The pygmy hippo is less aquatic than its larger relative, although when pursued, it hides in water. In shallow waters, their short legs provide powerful propulsion through water, while their web feet allows them to navigate on shallow river bottoms. Maned wolf is a rare, large-eared member of the dog family. It has a fox-like head, long reddish brown fur, very long blackish legs and an erectile mane. Giraffe. They grow to nearly their full height by four years of age, but gain weight until they are seven or eight. The tail may be a metre in length and has a long black tuft on the end. There is also a short black mane. 
both sexes have a pair of horns, though males possess other bony protuberances on the skull. The back slopes downwards to the hindquarters, a silhouette explained mainly by large muscles that support the neck. These muscles are attached to long spines on the vertebrae of the upper back. There are only seven neck vertebrae, but they are elongated. Thick walled arteries in the neck have extra valves to counteract gravity when the head is up. When the giraffe lowers its head to the ground, special vessels at the base of the brain control blood pressure. Zebra All zebras are dark-skinned animals. The zebra's stripes arise from melanocytes, which are specialised skin cells that selectively determine the pigmentation of the animal's fur. These cells transfer melanin, which is a skin darkening pigment produced by the melanocytes, into some of the animal's growing hairs. Hairs that contain melanin appear black, whereas those without melanin appear white. The mountain and the plain zebras live in small family groups consisting of a stallion and several mares with their foals. When moving the herd, stallions usually remain in the rear but still maintain control over the direction of the herd. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.